Hello, this is Andrea from Soulful Animal and today I want to show you how to create turn a simple pet photo into this cute little graphic here with speech bubbles. We're going to use a free tool and it only takes just a few minutes to create it. Okay, so what we're going to use is the website called picmonkey.com P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y dot com um, It's a free program um, They also have an upgrade which gives you just some more options when it comes to pictures, texts, images and things um, But you certainly don't need to start with that um, I started just with the free program and once I started using it more I decided to upgrade and, and it's just a yearly fee and it's very reasonable price. Okay, so when you go into Pick Monkey, really simple, we're just going to get started on creating this graphic. So up the top here, you want to click on the design button and then you'll get a drop down to an assortment of different sizes. So we're just going to click on the square, this one here. So that brings us up a blank square page. So just hit apply over here, we don't need to do anything with colours. Okay, so just take you quickly through this section here. You've got a series of menus um, and on each menu there's lots of different options for choosing different techniques, different texts, different overlays and shapes, frames, textures and they've also got a series of themed um, images and little pictures and texts. Okay, so what we want to do to create our image is we're going to first bring up our photo. So you want to click on the butterfly which is the overlay icon and at the top you'll see overlays your own. So we're going to upload the picture that we want to start with. So I've got it ready here. So you double click on that and that will pull your photo into the um, blank document. So by clicking on the photo you can move it once you get your four arrows showing up and to increase the size all you do is go to one of the corners and pull out. So all I'm going to do here is really quickly is we're going to pull the photo so it's covering the whole image the whole background like that and then you just hold it hold the mouse down on the image to move it into a position that you're happy with so we're going to sit it about there okay so click out of the space so out of the square space click over here oops it's not working we'll just go oh yeah click out and there we go what I would then do is I tend to click on this button up here which is to combine it, so it's combining the background with your photo so that way the photo is not going to keep moving. So let's click on that and now that sets it into space and if I try and click on the photo to move it again I can't. If you wanted to go back and change your position you could just click the back button and it would undo the um, flattening. So let's just get that back into there, click out of there again, flatten the image. Okay, so let's get our speech bubbles. So under the butterfly overlay tab, if you scroll down, you'll find this one here, comic bubbles. So click on that and then you'll get a series of bubbles you can choose from. Now these ones here that are under the basic section are the free version. If you upgrade you get access to these ones here and you can tell that they're the upgrade because they've got the little orange crown. Okay, So we're going to use the um, free version. Okay, So what we want to do here is choose a bubble we like. So I'm going to choose this one here. Now that has pulled that bubble in as a white bubble. Now, so you can increase the size just by pulling out like that. 
And I just want to show you another cool trick that if perhaps you wanted your bubble to be the same green colour as this, the dandelion leaves here, we're going to start moving into this colour picker area. So you can, at the moment, it's white, so it's sitting up here in this little area here. If I wanted to make it black, I'd pull it down to there. If I wanted to pick a different colour here, I could play around like that. But the cool thing here is we can actually use the colour picker. So if you click into this little line here, and then go to the area where you want to pick the colour from, it will colour match it. Just click on the area, and now you've got a green speech bubble. So it's really cool for tying into the colours of your photo. But I'm going to stick just with the white, so I'm going to drag that back up there. Okay, excellent. So if the speech bubble, another thing is, if the speech bubble you wanted it flipped over, when you this overlay box pops up, you can go here and click to horizontally change it. You can also get into verticals. Okay, so I'm going to leave mine like that. It happened to be the right way anyway. And then I'm going to pick another one for Bella. I'm going to pick this one facing this way and we'll pull that over there. I want to make it a lot bigger since there's a bit more room there. Okay, excellent. We've got our speech bubbles. Now we want to put our text in. You want to go back over here to the sidebar and you want to click on this text button. Click there. And then you can see there's a lot of different texts to choose from. And remembering anything with the orange crown is the upgraded version. Okay. So I'm really liking this Comica text at the moment. It's a new one I've put in and it's still free. So once you've decided on the text you like, click on the, that text. So I've clicked on it, which means it's now sitting at the top. Then you click on Add Text, and it'll pop a text box over on your page. So click into the click inside the highlighted box, and then you can start typing. So we'll type, I love you. Bella. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to center it as well. So I'm going to highlight the text like that and then I'm going to come back over here to this text box and click on that center alignment there. Okay, another thing is I'm going to click out of the box. Sorry, I'm going to click back on the back on the note. Sorry, just have the box highlighted and then just move that in. So I'm going to drag it up here and you can see it's too big. So you can either start move, changing the size of the text using the scale bar here. So let me push this in that right. So we could use the scale bar. You could also use the drag out function. And you could also use type into this box here if you want to change the size by going like 90, enter, and that will change it. Okay, so I want to make it a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to use the little drag in the corner. I'm going to sit that in the middle there. Cool. So we've got our text box. We'll just do this one over here, so I'm just going to do the same thing. Click Add Text, type my text. Oops, capitals will go with. Typing it there, you can highlight it, press the center alignment, click out of it, just move these over. Now if your text is, for example, ends up doing this, not showing up properly, it's just a matter of dragging your side, the side, sides of the square out. So I'm just going to Let's move that up there, and then we want to drag it out because we've got a bit more room for this one. It's a bit too big. Okay, there we go. So we've got our text. So I just want to show you one other thing. 
So on this one here, I've just put my website address on here. So you might have a Facebook page or a website or you might just want to put their names at the bottom. Um, so we're just going to do that and I'll just show you. We're going to pick a different text. So I've used Special Elite. So we'll click on that, Add Text and type in my words. Oops, I've got it in capitals. So you can see it's gone over two lines. So all you need to do there is drag that out. So it's sitting on one line. Now I um, don't want the black text. I actually want white text. So just as a reminder, you could drag this little but um, the little circle here up to white, and you can see it changed to white. Other option is if you wanted to color pick, match it. We could, for example, match it. Click on the this little rectangle here, get the color picker. I could then go down to dandelion again and pick a green, or if I could pick the um, color of their coat. But in this case, I'm just going to go with the white, so I'll click up there. Okay. Then I'm just going to drop that size down a little bit. There we go. Have it sitting there. So let's save our image. That's the final step. So as you can see, it's really quick. So to save your image, you just want to go up into this little top box here above the graphic. Click Save. Okay, and over on the left here, you have a few options. So what you're going to do is you want to give it a name. So I'm just going to say um, Speech Bubbles Test for now. Now, you've got two options here. You can save as a JPEG or you can save as a PNG. Now, if you've got text in your graphic, I'd always recommend PNG because it will keep your text nice and clear when you share it. So I'm going to click on the PNG. wait for it to convert it into a PNG just you can see it's converting there as you can see it tells you the size here now you might decide oh, I really want to make this a bit smaller so you can go in here to dimensions and you can drop the size so I might decide oh, I only want to make it 1000 so you just type that in there and it will then resize here now it's 1.6 okay so I'm going to click save to my computer and then you're just going to save it to where you need to save it. And that's the saved image there. It's time your masterpiece saved. So there you have it. Really simple. Only takes a few minutes. So I'd love to see your um, creations. Share them on the Facebook page or below in the comments. Thank you. Bye.